Hey Sagittarius, so today we're going to go ahead and do your new love reading. So this is going to be who is the next new partner, new love coming into your life? Uh, what do you need to know about this person, the situation? How will you recognize them and know them? So this one did win the poll, so that's what we're going to do this week. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So there could actually be someone who is very interested in you romantically. I want to see how this connects, but definitely with the you look dazzling and the two of cups here, there definitely could be someone who is interested in you, um, admiring you. I'm being shown some with, with hiccups for some reason, so that could be a clue for somebody, or maybe they're kind of stumbling over their words or they feel like they don't know how to approach you because you look so dazzling or you look so good. Um, but I'm getting this very positive sensation here for the viewers surrounding some kind of encounter. Um, so I want to see what that is. And this could be what the reading's about, or always it could just be a side note. But there is definitely something here to where you are receiving a recognition from somebody, an admired an admirement, I don't think that's a word, but an admirer that you may have. Yeah, the Page of Swords is here and the Emperor is here. This actually feels with the lightning in the background. This is some kind of incoming meeting that seems like it's actually happening kind of soon. So let me put the cards back and see what we have come up. That's just kind of a an intro that I was getting for the reading, but let's get into the, the cards, the main cards and see. Okay, so Spirit, what do you want to talk about here today for the viewers of the reading? So tell us about the main message that you want to talk about, please. Allow me to tap in here to the collective and anybody who is watching the reading. What is it that you want to talk about today? What messages do the viewers of this reading need to hear? What do you want to talk about, Spirit? Okay, we have the Ace of Wands. I'm gonna put it like this because I think it may have wanted to fly out in reverse. Um, what do you wanna talk about, Spirit? The King of Wands, the Three of Wands. Okay, so this actually could be connected to what I just said here because I'm feeling with the King of Wands that there's somebody here who is coming towards you and since that Ace of Wands flew out kind of sideways or upside down initially, I feel like I'm hearing I don't want to make a mistake. There's definitely some kind of anticipation here. Um, and yeah, I do feel like it connects because with that Taurus energy or the, you know, just what I was getting from this card, that somebody may really admire you. They may be feeling you again to be very beautiful, um, attractive, whatever that's going to be here. And I feel like... I'm seeing somebody like roll up their sleeves. So someone who's preparing for something here is what it feels like. And I don't know why I'm just getting this kind of question mark though, or this kind of uncertainty. Yeah, two of pentacles, the lovers around some offer here. And I don't know if you've received this yet. Most of you probably haven't um, yet with the ace of wands. I am also getting that some of you may have two people here. There may even be something to where you have, for example, someone that you're already with or that you already have close to your heart, but then you also may have somebody else that comes in to where you almost have to make a decision between two. That could be for some of you. And <clears throat> I'm just getting this again, anticipation is what I wanna say. There's an anticipation that somebody has and it feels to be this King of Wands. Um, it's like a feeling to where there's something happening. I'm being shown the south node and when I'm looking at this lovers and I'm also being shown here, we have, yeah, so destiny, which is the wheel of fortune. And we have the two, again, two of pentacles, movement, choices, decisions. And I feel like with the number 10 here, some of you, again, there's something very faded happening. There's some kind of faded meeting, which is why that card flew out or why the initial thing that I mentioned with the, the Emperor and the Page of Swords, I do feel some of you have some kind of faded encounter that is approaching uh, unless you've already met somebody recently and it was a very significant, maybe new connection for you. That's for, for some of you. But I'm just getting that... 
hearing we want to save you. I don't know what they mean by that. We want to save you. I feel like what's happening here, again, this is a this is a few different things. For some of you, there could be somebody coming in which actually like not saves you, but takes you away from something else which was not good for you. That won't be the case for everybody, but you would know if that's for you because it would be something that you really kind of want to get out of. Um, it also could be that there's just something that I feel is coming in to give you hope again somehow, and it does feel to be romantic for a lot of you. Um, and this could be kind of the way they're mentioning it as in saving you could be more so connected to some kind of opportunity which is going to uh, again like give you hope again or is going to open a door for you and it's like you know this is a really there's something with the lovers in the wheel of fortune here which feels like a like just a colliding of two people and um i don't know why i'm seeing a beach front something about someone works on the beach just for somebody or uh, it looks like a restaurant you know or a bar on the beach or that could be somewhere that you go or that you meet somebody there um, yeah but they're taking me back now to this anticipation on the fence energy again someone has not made this move yet um, or there's some kind of question here for some of you here, this is, let me pull a few more cards actually so I can get a little bit more specific, but for some of you also, this might be very specific, but you may have somebody who is waiting for you to leave another connection so that they can approach, but that's only going to be for a small group of people. But I guess the main, the bottom line here is that you look dazzling apparently. So you look dazzling to people, to somebody. Let's see, Spirit, can you tell me a little bit more about this message? The Magician, the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like something is coming. There's like an anticipation for something right now. And it's happening energetically and you've been feeling it. Or someone has been like wanting to uh, like come towards you and they've been, they've been anticipating this. They've been thinking about this or about to approach. Yeah, they just, some spirit just showed me um, somebody turning a corner of like a like a curb or something. Like you're walking on the corner, and then you turn the corner, and then there is something right in front of you. Again, Ace of Swords. There's some kind of incoming energy, communication, truth, meeting with somebody, and it feels like it's going to be like a part of a destined plan. It's something that you cannot predict, and it's just like around the corner. You you know, it's like that feeling to where you're walking to like a coffee shop, and then. You turn the corner of the road and then I, I guess maybe there's somebody there or you meet somebody. Um, it just feels like there's something happening here which is a product kind of or a result of which came up in the previous readings of some kind of clearing of old energy. And so now it's like your destiny. Yeah, justice, the page of wands, the three of swords. Your destiny here is like making itself known. You know, it's like coming out. It's going to show itself in the physical world. Um, so, I mean, yeah, and I was hearing self node. So for me, justice, this is kind of like some major energy to me. Justice, the wheel of fortune and the lovers. Like this is, this feels to be something which... Um, it's like I, I'm hearing a long time coming. And again, this is going to resonate differently. There's going to be different groups of you for this reading. Some of you, a long time coming to be in any kind of connection romantically. Maybe you've been single for a very long time. Maybe you are um, waiting for some serendipitous moment that you've been, again, waiting for. You've been hoping for that. And like, here it is, Ace of Swords Justice. This also feels like something too where the accumulation of heartbreak here connected to something else is again coming to an end or it's something where like um, this over here, uh, like with the reference of you looking dazzling, it's like somebody here sees you, somebody uh, sees you like actually physically or, or like energetically if that makes sense, someone is seeing your value or I don't know, they just have their eye on you somehow. And I'm going to go deeper into this and see. We have the Page of Wands as well. I'm seeing somebody type hello. I don't know why I'm, I'm hearing hello or with a question mark. So I don't know if somebody is going to say that or if someone's going to text you hello. Um, 
or that's just the way spirit's showing it, you know, that someone is going to say hello in any, in whatever way they do it. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm just getting a strong feeling here that just keeps coming up of like an impending, an impending kind of encounter. And I'm hearing the name Ashley. Sarah as well. Here's the Queen of Pentacles again. Tell us more, Spirit. Can you tell me more about this message, please? Tell us more about what this is. I'm also getting a, another message here, too, where I guess it, you know, can be connected. I'm hearing something about something exposes around you or spilling the beans I'm hearing around you. Let's see, Spirit, tell me more then about this. What can you say here to sort of condense this message a little bit? We have the Two of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles, and we have here the Nine of Pentacles. And here's the Empress at the bottom. Wow, the World, the Strength card at the bottom as well. Wow, I just got a really strong message. I, I just heard something like, you never knew this love existed, or you never thought that love existed, but here it's something coming in. There's something here that's going to take you by a big surprise. And with this here, this accumulation of the energy we've been picking up on for the last few months, I think now, um, it feels like with the world, you know, it's getting closer and closer to, to totally wrapping up. And that reading I just posted to the other day about like a cord cutting or some of you have cut cords quite literally with somebody or just past behaviors, past situations that you've been attached to. And so that whole thing has been like, again, accumulating this ball of energy, which is gaining in momentum to lead you to that right place, right time around the corner feeling of that justice, the wheel of fortune, the ace of swords. So I just, I'm hearing sitting pretty. So some of you, this is advice too. Right now, all you need to do is sit pretty or that you are, because again, you're dazzling. There's something that you're sitting pretty. You're doing, you know, you're in the right energy. You're in the right flow right now. Again, this woman here too is just sitting back. Um, Nine of pentacles is a very abundant, self-sufficient energy too. So I don't know. I just really feel, I'm hearing poetry. I don't know why that just slipped in something about poetry someone could be a poet or someone could be writing a poem about you or writing a i don't know maybe a letter message um but yeah i just really feel that um again the lovers and the third eye they keep and look at the six and the six so the number six, I know, does connect obviously to the lovers and I feel like it's connected to like harmony and um, I just feel like there, I just keep hearing that message about you never, I don't know why they're saying that, something like you never knew this existed or you never knew love existed. I just feel like there's something which is going to hugely elevate in your life and it's in many categories like we've been getting in the recent readings but for this reading this feels to be a love like mainly love here's the ace of swords again at the bottom and we have the nine of swords and the five of swords did those card cards mean to come out spirit let me see what else the empress again again the world the empress or no this is judgment judgment and the empress and the root chakra I'm hearing another chance again. So, you know, again, this could be, I'm going to have to get more clarification. This could be another chance with somebody, or this is another chance at love. It's almost like a, like the divine is giving somebody a second chance. It's like with the South Node reference, um, if you can picture kind of like a hand coming down from the skies, you know, from spirit, the universe saying, here's your second chance, you know, or here's your second chance at love that you deserve. Here's your second chance at finding, which again, feels to be love, but it's also like, it's also self-love too with the Empress. It's also just many things that are, you know, in the collective, it's been so intense lately. And I think this is just more so confirming it that there's such an intense feeling of, um, so much joy and happiness coming coming in and so it's like a second chance that you're given for something judgment can also be a second chance too can be redemption so I feel like I'm they're, they're showing me a a bus ready to leave at the station and I'm hearing are you like you only have a minute 
you know, to, to hop on the bus. The bus is about to leave. If you want to go on this journey, then you're going to have to step, you're going to have to go into the bus. But I don't feel like this is you because I feel like, you know, this it's already automatically coming in for you. I don't feel like you have to do anything necessarily. This could be more so that people have to kind of get on that bus with you, you know. Maybe there's a certain juncture right now happening in time where certain people need to get on the bus with you if they're going to go with you. And if they're not, then they're going to be left behind. Um, and yeah, it's kind of circling back now to the original Ace of Wands and the King of Wands where there is somebody, because for this reading, there could be like, this could be multiple like things coming in for you in the future in love, but there actually, there could be somebody, there is definitely somebody who seems to be wanting to be on the bus with you. Um, if not, maybe more than one person, because I was picking that up too. There could be two people. One could be like a new connection or about to turn the corner and meet them. And then somebody else could be maybe like another person from the past. You know, there's a lot of eyes on you, Page of Swords. There's a lot of people interested or lurking kind of. Um, and it's like, maybe there's, I just feel like with the world here, there's just, there's something where the time has come that this, again, timeline has split. So who is getting on the bus with me and who is left behind. That's kind of what it is. And you may not even be sitting there and aware of that. This could all be on like a spiritual level to where um, you've already like, you're, you've already been sitting on the bus ready to take off, but you may not know that you've been there. I just saw the number nine on the timer. So again, nine could be significant here, but I feel like you're already on the bus and so the bus is representative of your higher self ready to take off and ready to leave connections behind and again that goes very well with what i had posted yesterday or what i the reading that i had posted because it feels like even if you are not conscious or aware of it you have you have stepped away from some other cords of attachment which is what's leading you into this dazzling kind of feeling. And I think that it's just such a strong feeling with these with these two cards of the Empress that you're just glowing so much brighter than ever. And so it's like a bus that, how many people want to get on the bus with you? Is it like how many people are going to be a part of your future? Are there going to be some people that get on the bus from the past and they take that bus with you? You know, maybe the bus can hold like 20 people, for example. It's just, I don't know, just the example of it. And then maybe other people are new suitors of the timelines of your future path that are going to be seeing you as your like really true love connections or possibilities for that at least. Like basically, yeah, who's who's coming on the bus with me? Um because you're ready and they have to be ready too if they want to be ready for you. So let's see anything else that we need to know here. What else do you want to say, Spirit, about this message for the viewers of this reading? What else do you want to add to this? They're showing me a card from a deck I haven't used in a long time. I don't even remember what it's called, but it says no place like home. Wisdom of the Oracle, I think it is. No place like home. So again, there's something very powerful happening where you're heading towards home. And in this reading, home represents your future love slash future or like home within self. And when you find that home within self, which a lot of you are, have found for, for a, like you've almost found it fully sort of feeling, um, then other people who are on the same frequency of home, meaning that your perfect person kind of, or your counterpart can come home to you too. I hope that makes sense. Even if you don't know them yet. Um, it's just a feeling of that, of like, there's something very big happening, which is, and since they showed me like the South node, North node, I don't know if there is something going on with those placements, but um, it's like definitely with the destiny card. And if you think of like the North node following our purpose in this lifetime, it's like translated into love connections too. So I don't even know if the North node goes together with that, or if it's just, I think I, from my understanding, it's mainly just about like maybe purpose and career, but I could be wrong, but it just feels like that. Like there's, um, 
something with the North Node where you're aligning to your future timeline path and connections that are going to be a part of home for you moving forward. So we have the geese, we have the crow, we have the hanged man, and we have the tornado. At the bottom we have the third person. Interesting. So I was getting that possible love triangle, which let's see what else. Tell me more about this then, Spirit. What what are you referring to? Yeah, there's something changing with the tornado, and it could be on either side. I can't tell whose side it's on. For a lot of you, I feel like it's actually you, though. And you may not have this happen yet, so you may not understand it yet. But there could be somebody else who enters the picture, which you didn't expect to enter your life. And maybe this is somebody else that you have on your mind. I'm actually going to grab some love cards because I want to see what comes up in love here so I can go a little bit deeper into this. But we have the um, ship at the bottom. There is something about travel definitely for some of you here. And what I just went now to go grab the love decks that I want to use, I was hearing spirits say with the tornado that you have chosen the correct path. So this is again confirming for a lot of you what's already been done. And the fact that this has been coming up for the last week too, that you are really on the right track. Whatever you've been doing, whatever you've been focusing focusing on, whatever you've been deciding upon, like you are on the right track. And so because you're on the right track, it almost causes a ripple effect in your world to where, you know, again, it's like the train reference or the bus reference, like people need to start to get moving towards you if that wh whoever is going to be a part of your life kind of feeling so i just feel like they want you to know whatever is happening here like you're really on the right track you're on actually i'm hearing a fast track so with that destiny card you seem to be on like a fast track towards something and um it just there's kind of the again there's multiple energies coming up in this reading so it's a little bit there's a quick moving energy and it's kind of hard to grasp it fully but i'm getting for some it's like there's a fast track situation that's about to come in which i don't feel is, i think this is something new i do feel like this is a lot of you something new coming towards you or is about to just suddenly enter your life and it's like you don't see it coming And yeah, when I'm shuffling here, we have the hanging on. So and when I was looking over at that King of Wands, this card was at the bottom. So that's kind of where I'm getting there's somebody here. I don't know if they're the past person or who this is. Again, there's a lot of energies. But there's somebody who I feel is on the fence right now with that Ace of Wands. They have not made their move fully towards you. Um, they have... They've been the one that is sitting on the, you know, the, the bench outside of the bus station and they haven't decided if they're getting on the bus or not. Um, yeah, and I keep seeing this freshly single card. So for some of you, you could be freshly single. It does say here to a new identity, which is definitely what I'm getting. Even if you haven't been through a recent breakup, this could be that you've just, um, you know, again, you've just healed. You've just kind of shifted this timeline. You've... Um, let go of some other connections or situations that you've been attached to there's just been something where you're available kind of now for this to come in there's just a good time coming in i don't know what else to say really look we have saying goodbye exactly we have the final straw cutting cords with an x and then we have a groovy time so there's just some kind of groovy good time coming in. Um, there's just some kind of feeling with that destiny that it's it's too it's too kind of like big to put into words in this reading because it's something which is again going to be very sudden. I feel for a lot of you, or that you feel coming, and so you know when you feel that coming, that's a sign that you're about to manifest it into reality. And with justice, and this is just a powerful feeling. The world, judgment, wheel of fortune, justice, the empress, the world again here. Um, it just feels like there's really good fun times ahead. And I just feel like, you know, the, it's like the bus that you're going on is heading to this fun location. And what you've done here is that you've said goodbye energetically. You've cut these cords. You've, again, um, 
you've left other people out in the dust and yeah is there anything else for it to say because i don't even know if there's much more to say it's just like that you're on the right track here is there anything else you can say about this reading then that you want to add I'm hearing be conscious of the time that you spend with people it's almost like again you know I, I keep going back to the same reference because there's two timelines I'm picking up on I'm jumping between one and the other um, they want you to be aware that there's lost love also there's somebody who maybe either you've had bad habits with this person this person could be not so good for you maybe something could be short-lived here with the summer love um, and they want you to look at your energy as precious and your time as valuable and precious. So what do you want to give your energy to um, moving forward? Because there's so much shifting within you that you may even feel a bit chaotic within yourself. And if you haven't felt this yet, this could be coming in the next few months or so. There's a lot of chaotic energy, but it's good chaos. It's like chaos that chaos that comes in to bring clarity bring truth bring fun times bring painful times bring joy it's like everything at once happens and you're swept under this in, in this tornado where there's so many things that are like adjusting in your life and there's so many things that are giving you know or that are like leaving and then incoming and then leaving and incoming so it's almost like you may even be thrown into the into the fire here almost in a way that you have to make these decisions or there's going to be this incoming time where um, because of the energy that you're stepping into, you are the one who calls the shots, kind of. And so Spirit wants you to look at your life in that way and look at your energy in that way. Um, when it comes to these situations coming towards you, which ones are kind of going to be facilitating growth for you? Which ones are going to be things that you still need to cut off? Uh, it's just a lot of decisions and choices, I feel. Um, So I will do an extended and I'm just going to be looking in the extended at, I think I'm going to look actually at who are the people attached to you just because this feels kind of messy in that way. So I don't want to break it down into the each like category here. I'm just going to see who in love is attached to you and let spirit kind of go from there. But, um, and we'll get message cards as usual. We'll get some details as to who the people are, but let's just see if there's any final message that they want to add for you in this reading and see when I shuffled here too we have together at last it's like there's a reconciliation with somebody and it does not even have to be for all of you somebody from the past that's where there's a bit of confusion because it could be a few different groups of you some of you it could be others of you are cutting cords with somebody from the past so this actually could be a soul reconciliation with the destiny someone that you've had a past life connection with that you have yet to meet in this lifetime somebody very important um, to your path moving forward with the justice. It's just many things are coming together. I'm hearing worth the wait. Yeah, they want you to know it's worth the wait. And see, here we have the coffin. It says endings bring new beginnings. That's for the group of you who may have ended something or you may have cut a cord that you are really done with that situation and you know it, you've kind of nailed the coffin shut. You don't want to go back to that. It's over. Um, it's going to be worth the wait. It's like a reward that spirit has for you. Again, that hand that comes down and says, we're giving you a second chance in love now. And here's here's what you've been waiting for all along. Um, there is something like that. It, it's, it's definitely a, a powerful feeling to where you have a, there's a chance coming in to be very happy. For some of you, it could even be an engagement, but it's definitely a union. It's definitely a union. Yeah, again, we have the Grim Reaper. So see, there's something that's ending, though. And at the same time, you have this union. That's where it's a bit um, jumbled in these two different timelines. See, something sudden and unexpected. Separation. You definitely have a separation with one of these people. But see, you're finding out the truth. Things are coming to light. So again, I'm going to have to look in the extended at the people attached to you because of how many uh, possibilities there are on this reading. But let's just pull these cards and then I think we'll probably leave it there for this one. 
Okay, any hints or clues, Spirit, as to what exactly is coming in for the viewer? An ending and then a new beginning. An ending and then something sudden. And like I was saying in the very beginning, it may actually be both, which usually happens at those times when we move on um, and you have somebody else come in or you are just in the vibration that you're beginning to step into such of your own power that people from the past come back, the new people. It's like, again, your bus is full of all types of people from your past. You know, some, like, who are you going to identify in that bus? Is it a soulmate over there? Is it somebody that's a past life connection? Is it a ex that's not good for you in the bus? Is it somebody that's a twin flame in there? It's like, I don't know, you have a, you have a, like an assortment here to decide on or to choose from. But, yeah. But it's positive. Even if it feels overwhelming or if it's going to feel overwhelming, it ultimately is positive because you are the one that can decide and choose what you want okay so any final message here spirit balance intuition and soulmate okay at the bottom we have leap of faith i'm here the name chelsea Yeah, for a lot of you, or for at least for one group of you, it's you intuitively know this reading. You already know what I'm kind of talking about in your intuition. It's because of this card, your soulmate loves, accepts, and respects you unconditionally. That's the person that you're meant to be with. And that's the decision that you are, have either just made or you're going to make that decision because of something which will happen. Or again, just energetically speaking, you may have to make kind of a decision as to what are you investing your time into and is that person giving the same back to you are you seeing the same kind of uh, effort from them and justice is this card that you deserve somebody who's going to accept you love you unconditionally but just be prepared for a lot of truths is what I, is what spirit's saying be prepared for a lot of truths to come in be prepared for like I was saying too, you're thrown kind of into the mix of here's the two of wands, you know, you're looking at two different options or you have two different timelines kind of that you, you know, can kind of choose from there. It's like that kind of phrase, you know, or I think it is like pain and pleasure is together or like there's a fine line between the two. So you sometimes it could cause pain to end things, but ultimately it's something that you need to decide for yourself here to go on to that new quest, that new journey of your soul and your heart. So I'm going to leave it here and I'm going to again go over to the extended and I'm going to look and see who's connected to you in love. A combination of like the people in the bus, you know, who are the like just who's who's mostly connected to in love and who's like about to come in and just see if we can channel from there. I'm sure there'll be more than one. So I will leave it here. I hope this reading could help whoever it's for. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. I'd appreciate it. And sending you lots of love. Take care and blessings.